I want to talk about the testing lab two nights ago, man, here at the Sound Lab. Shout out to the testing oh, lab. Shout out to the testing lab. I went for my first. Oh, yeah, Gina pulled up for her first event. testing lab. Yay. Yeah, let's clap it up for oh, that. Sure. You know what I mean? You know? I wasn't clapping. My hands I are full of you. I was surprised. How did you feel about the testing lab, we Gina? We had our conversations about how I felt about going. Yeah. And I was surprised. I was like, oh, this is lit. Yeah. Yeah. The artists that went up there were were really talented. D- do you remember any of their names? Them? No. No? No. My man Joey Zaza. Joe Zaza. Oh, uh, Florida. he's in Seoul in Florida. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah. Yo, he was fire. Yeah, Joe he Zaza. Shout out Joe Zaza, man. that stage. Yeah. The day that boy gets signed and he's on tour, you don't got to teach him nothing. He nah, he got it. His Joe got thing. it. Oh, he was turned up on a Tuesday? Uh-huh. Nah, Joe got it. Joe got it. turned up on a Tuesday. Uh, hey, I like that. There was a little Uzi Vert 2.0. Mm, I don't or like negative copycats. 2.0. Verts. I don't like copycats. I, I don't oh, remember no. the dude's name, but I know who you're talking about. See, yeah. I don't like that you knew what she was talking about <laughs> when she said that. Yeah. I don't yeah. like copycats. Like, it I just doesn't he work. He wasn't a copycat. Well, it's his, no, no, no. It's his hold generation. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't believe he was a copycat. The way that he performed and the music, un- non-understandable, like it was, I felt like I was listening to Future, but Lil Uzi Vert type of Future. What's about that little white kid, right? Yeah, the one with the red hair, orange hair. Oh, man. Yo, he was terrible. You, you, I felt like I was know, listening to... I don't even oh, want to say his name. name. I don't even want to say his name because... <laughs> um. But oh, that was the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I didn't know what the straight fuck. Straight Uzi Vert. Yeah, ten uh, minutes. But you couldn't understand anything good. he was saying. And no then on top of that, somebody said he looked like he was limp singing. Nah, bro. Nah, he, he was, was lip singing. Oh, that's terrible. I couldn't hear his vocals. All I heard was the song. I, all I heard was mumbling. He and was grumbling. He was lip syncing at the at the yes. at the A lot of people do that, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, but after going up in a against room so full many of, people, uh, hold on, hold on. I've been going against so many people that are actually rapping. They're right, music that's right. wild. So my man DKO, he was in the building, man. Mm. Oh, he was fired too. Yeah, Cash no DKO because yeah, yeah, they yeah. were both supposed to host. I don't go an event, uh, um, and then I ended up hosting it. Surprisingly, I fell asleep Cash in the club. I fell asleep smacked. Yeah, I fell asleep. In so the this club. man got paid for me to host an event. That's great, man. Shout out. Thank Shout you for DKO, being my friend. Man. You, know what the fuck? Saying? you forgot that part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's excellent. You my you know fucking I mean? boy, nigga. Yeah, the that's fuck? What's up. That's what's up. You're supposed to hold me up. down, yeah, nigga. Yeah. I mean, uh, unprofessional. Talk about the obvious. <laughs> you gonna call me unprofessional, motherfucker? <laughs> I know we 10 minutes past, nigga. I ain't said nigga in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nigga. Like, like a straight <laughs> nigga. <laughs> um, but, um, oh, Suriel. Suriel okay, from okay. Limass. He was in the building. I remember I the first time I heard a Siri, uh, I seen Cyriel at the testing lab. I called him Drake's evil twin. I don't right? want to say I wasn't getting Drake from him. You weren't there the last time. Oh, the last time, no. That first song he did on Tuesday gave me Drake-ish vibes, but I didn't hear it, what, what Noble was saying and things of that nature. Yeah, Noble went um, in on him about the whole Drake trying yeah, to get away from, yeah, no, get right. away from the yeah. Drake. No, was like, yeah, yo, you got to you gotta figure out a way to just get away from this Drake shit, B. Oh, like, you know what I mean? That's he tough. He was like, yo, you got to do But you know, right, hold on. Let me get my Noble on. I'm not going to hold you, bro. I'm not going <laughs> to hold you. Like, you, know, like, you know what I mean? Not for nothing. Um, you know, um, but you got you got to find a way. Yep. To get away from the Drake, That's what it Drake like. comparisons, you know, you gotta find a way, bro. And I'm like, I'm sitting there like, ah, it's not, it's not his fault that he sounds like the guy, right? I oh, feel he like sounds like him. I think his voice on certain records, he sounds like him, but mm. I don't think he's trying to rap like him. I think before when I first seen him, I was like, nah, this dude just. Took a whole page out of Drake's catalog. His music was good. I thought it was funny when he was like, I'm six foot, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He messed up on his he lines and he said lyrics. something about six two. He's and, six and, two. I, and I had to call him out. I was well, like, like five, yeah. five. I was like, yo, my man, you, you said you was six two? <laughs> you five seven? <laughs> he looked small on stage. I put I put I put five ten on my job. Not license. five seven. I'm five foot tall. And I was like, boy, he's small. <laughs> I'm five ten and a half with Tim's I on. I put five ten on my driver's license. Shut up, Yo, you you ain't dead five dog. Ten, man. With Tim's on, I'm five ten yeah. and a half. What you disrespect fact, me? Fact, me too, me too. I mean, me too, me too. <laughs> disrespect me, dog. This is mad. You know what I mean, <laughs> I mean, but um, but yeah, I mean, shout out to the testing lab. 
Shout out everybody who participated. I thought it was a dope event this past week. Um, we had to, you know, get some kinks out, but we were back stronger than ever. Um, and I love the testing lab, man. If you have not signed up, man, holla at the Museum TV. If you want to test but some music, you do not have. But, but this, this is the misconception. This is my beef with a lot of guys. They come up there to perform when that's not what it was made for. You literally can sit there and press play. Oh, okay. And say, these are songs that I'm working on. What do y'all think? Give me feedback. Okay. That's the whole point of the testing lab. Got so you. you don't actually have to go up there and perform. You don't have to perform. Oh, okay. But I think people put pressure on themselves. They think, you know, it'd be people who, you know, don't really do shows like that sometimes. Yeah. But the people who are seasoned, a lot of the times, they literally just sit down and like, yo, look, this is what I'm working on, man. What y'all think? Yeah. Right? And, and I think that's dope because as a creative, you always got a lot of different ideas. You might not think that something's going to stick. So I know you said it's not, like, you don't have to perform. However, I feel like the more you perform, the easier it's going to get. So you perform in front yeah, of the like, crowd. Yeah. The more you come to the test lab or any location where you actually put in your voice out there and your creative side out there, the less, the more comfortable you're going to be when that time to shine actually comes through. Because I feel true. like the... Do your thing. Come out here and sing your little heart out. Because I feel like the, 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 like the greatest there, but... moments that happen to you in life are spurred of the moment joints. Like the joints that like really explode, like are the ones that just boom out of the blue. Mm -hmm. And like, you gotta be able to deliver on that. Now, what I do think is if you are gonna perform, yeah. get your performance records ready. I don't wanna hear you rapping over your song. Like that sounds terrible a lot of the times. Um, nine times out of 10, it sounds terrible. Get your performance records ready. Um, Lower your vocals, probably leave the hook in, things of that nature. That's I don't know exactly the words for that. There's producers and engineers know for all of that. Your songs. Like, like, you ask somebody who's the vocals, the female vocals, and he didn't know who it was. His really? friend. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah he give credit her. where it's due. He and gave she her the pub dead? daddy. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, the total. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, that's my peoples. That's my peoples. <laughs> and my, my peoples, peoples, peoples and them. <laughs> <laughs> But it was dope, though. It was dope all in all, man. I loved it. Um, I enjoyed, you know, everything that, you know, I seen that night, man. So shout out to the Testing Lab once again. Yeah, shout out to the Testing Lab. In the Sound Lab. In the Sound Lab. Every other Tuesday, man. Every